has more of a claim to object objectivity and it has more of a, 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 de a degree of authority in terms of shaping the audience's response than any individual character. So Keeney's chorus, this is passion number two, they unambiguously praise Antigone. They describe her as one so radiant, and this is as she's going to her death. Um, you would not live a lie, vindicated, lauded, Asian disease that witted, you go with held, held high. Whereas Sophocles' chorus, and this is the same point in the play, tell Antigone, too bold, too reckless, you affronted justice, now that awful power takes terrible vengeance, so my child. So Sophocles' chorus don't think that Antigone was right to act as she did, and they're very critical um, they're sorry for her, they express pity for her fate, but they don't think that she was right to behave as she did. Um, and they're quite supportive of Creon and his stance. 